And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Garen Poppy Day. This is a deck that we played about five days ago whenever we were playing uh, some different Garen decks and doing really well ranking up with them. And this list in particular, I really enjoyed playing. It fit my play style perfectly. I'm definitely a Demacia player, and so I really liked it. So what we're going to do today is really practice the deck. This is something that we don't normally do, um, but whenever we get closer to tournament time, sometimes we do this where we're going to be playing just one deck today. We'll be playing it with 20 games, um, and I'll be splitting it up into four videos of five for those of y'all watching later on YouTube, so I'll have part one through part four. And we're just going to really just practice the deck and make sure we really like it, because if we do qualify for the tournament this weekend, which I'm not quite there yet, but hopefully with uh, today, you know, we get closer with ranking up. Um, if we do get qualified, this would likely be one of the three decks that uh, I would play. Also, looking at those decks from yesterday that did well, the Thralls and the Action Shivana, um, those are, you know, those are like my leading three decks right now. All right, but let's let's uh, just spend one day playing this, make sure that we really like it, um, and again, hopefully get some good wins. This is a, a Poppy deck that's built to beat other Poppy decks. This is a deck that's built to beat aggro decks with Poppy, Garen. You have Garen as a wonderful blocker. You got lots and lots of challengers everywhere and challengers that are good against small units because you can buff them up. You got your Young Witch, your Poppy, and your Swift Wing Flight that buffs them up. You have a card like Ranger's Resolve. You have protection with Bright Seal Protector also. So, you know, like we're, we're trying to challenge small units. So like we're really good against other Poppy decks. Where this deck's going to struggle is against the control decks um, that can have a really good late game and lots of removal. That's because there's just not any card advantage in the deck. Well, not too much. You know, like there's nothing that says draw cards. There's just this thing that can create some uh, more challengers. But besides that, you know, like we're not, you know, I guess Redeemer. You know, so there's a tiny, tiny bit, but not really very much. Not not enough for like the, those kind of control decks. But we're going to hopefully just get out ahead and attack and be aggressive and then use rallies to finish the game. The Golden Ages with the rally is very important. So that's that's our game plan for those matchups. All right, but uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and try this out. Garen Poppy. We're going to go play some games and ranked. Here we go. Yeah, even though our, our cards, you know, even though we don't necessarily have a lot of things that draw cards, our cards are going to be difficult to kill, and they also usually trade very profitably against other units. You know, like we're killing units without spending resources, with having our challenger stay alive. All right, I like this hand. We want to give Garen challenger. That's always a good thing to do. We can save our two spell mana. After, just a little farther. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> Save our two spell mana after round two. Be able to have sharp sight available. So this is the kind of deck that we are, you know, built to face with having all three copies of Radiant Guardian. These kind of decks here that do, um, you know, do incidental damage and you know try to burn you out. So assuming they have like Mega Rain, I guess make use them. You'll have them use Mega Rain right now instead of later whenever we have an, an additional unit in play. Yeah, this is just gonna be a one a one deck rank up focus stream for seasonals today. Yep. So we have two options. You know, challenger the Garen, or attack, have one of my things die, and then play Radiant Guardian. I think we're gonna go with the Radiant Guardian. 
I can also give Challenger to Radiant Guardian. Hello, you best friend. I wonder if I should give Challenger to Radiant Guardian. Virtue guides me. It seems like a not not too bad of a decision. Don't know much, do you? Alright, so we take four block here, so we're down to two. We're not dead yet. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Okay. Ready, hammer. So what could they Could be like, mm, yeah. I think we have to attack. I wanted to play the young witch, but I think we have to attack. This is so close. It's gonna blow. No. Are you kidding me? Pokey stick into pokey stick. Wow. They are very lucky. Because obviously the like we win this game once once these radiant guardians strike. Quest failed. Sorry, hero. Yeah, so Pokey, you know, I guess if I would have open attacked, they couldn't Pokey stick into Pokey stick. Yep. So, so lesson learned. I could have could have open attacked to play around that, and that's why we need to practice. So we learn things like that and don't do them again. So Lulu, Poppy, I like having the Young Witch and the Poppy. Ranger's Resolve probably going to be pretty good. We would like, I don't know, a Challenger or something. There we go. Okay. So they'll have the attack token next round. Probably going to be having Tracker challenge Young Witch. They'll probably have to be using the Ranger's Resolve next round. And so while I could pass here and then be able to hold up both Sharp Side and Resolve, and maybe that's the way to go. One way to pick a pine cone, I'll show you. Looking for an ass, the trick is to swing harder. This requires my largest official hat. Today's the day I find that hero. I think we're still supposed to play Mama's home. Poppy first. Okay. Hammer. That thing, quick attack. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna be in a good spot. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. All right, we got Zoe Nami. This is the kind of deck that they really want double trouble into Nami, and we want to kill Nami. What do I think about single combat? I like this 1-2-3 curve with the units. I think we're going to send it back. Like Single combat would be very good with, you know, with like Garen and Poppy and some of our larger things. Like, you know, we want that for Nami, but I think we're going to send that back.
That single combat would have been good with that Garen. No double trouble? Please, no double trouble. It's always just the very first card. It's not only that they don't have it, it's not only that they have it, but it's always the very first card. Hand. Steady now. Hopefully no Nami. Mm. The really good thing about that card for them is that leaves them with three mana, they can save three spell mana here, and then Nami's leveled up. It's a tough choice. I want to play Garen, but if I play Garen, they can have another, like one of those, that kills my Swiftwing Flight. I could instead just go with this thing, and then I hold up Ranger's Resolve. Vanguard with with Resolve, or just Garen? Because we want to level up this Garen. Like, leveling up Garen's definitely really important. For justice, for it's a tough call. They probably don't, like, they can't have, like, that many Mega Rains in their deck, right? Does it even make sense to do that? It doesn't even make sense to do that. This makes a lot more sense just to do this. Unless they have Hush. I guess they could have Hush and then it doesn't make sense to do that. Please don't have Hush. Okay. So, if I would have gone the other way, they would have been able to get 2 damage on Garen. That's not bad. Do I want to block? Why, hello there. We're gonna do Pell Cascade. They'd pr probably play like another spell and then Pell Cascade. Yeah, having them use spells before they have, you know, Nami or Shelly in play is a good thing. That all seems pretty good. This lets me keep all five of my units alive, and all three of theirs die, depending on what else happens. Okay. Yeah, game playing Setuani, definitely good. It's very good against like, mid-range decks, Demacia decks, that kind of stuff. All right, GG's. Yeah, they're going to be in a really tough spot. Like, this, the Swiftwing Flight still has the quick attack. You know, that thing was about to get a barrier. We're going to be able to give another Challenger quick attack. You know, like, they're they're kind of dead. 
Thralls. Thralls is a, re is a really good deck. We you know we went 5-0 with Thralls yesterday. I'm not sure exactly how qualified Thralls is for off meta when you're asking like about off meta decks, but it is very good. Um... Yeah, Thralls is probably gonna be pretty tough for us. They cast like an avalanche, all of our stuff dies. That's sad. Certainly glad they don't have round one Frozen Thrall. It makes a big difference in their deck if they do. We kind of need our champions for this matchup, because we have to just race and need our champions to be fast. These cards are elites. Warm hearts and hot soup. This isn't going so good. Who does not know the name Laurent? That's definitely not going so good. Yeah, we just this is just not a good matchup for us. Tracker dies to Ice Shard, trading it off. I'm just not doing enough damage. Really needed a champion, or even like the the four man challenger that buffs our other challengers. I'm just not doing enough damage. A lot of work, old Radiant Guardian. A lot of work. Poppy. 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ugh, I can't play all three cards. I can't play all three cards. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. I'm attacking! Definitely be a lot better if we play this Golden Ages also. Get 
another poppy attack, you know, like with a lifesteal barrier, you know, with lifesteal with barrier. Have a protege challenge again. Stay back. They have a frostbite spell, and I block here. We don't lose. But how are we winning the game from here? It's like nine. It's kind of tough to win. All right, no frostbite. Too bad. I guess going to three, not so safe. It's going to three, not so safe. GG's. It's a tough matchup. We didn't have a champion until much too late. Yeah, the question was, would you have an out if we didn't go to three? And the answer is probably not, honestly. <laughs> we, we basically, like, we wouldn't have any way to, like, really kill them. It, like, if we would have made a block that didn't go to three. We need an elite. We don't have very many elites in the deck, but this is just a you know better card than playing like Sith three like uh, one mana Sith three because we do have a few, including Garen, which having Penitent Squire plus Garen is an awesome combo. Fourteen. Man, eleven. Been kind of rough. Still not done. My shield is yours. Guess it's better than playing Protege. Yeah, the old attack for nine, round two. Some of it fearsome. This thing is a 2 2. I probably should have played that right there. Whenever they played the 3 1. Yeah, I had to play that. We can get burned out from seven, but I hope that doesn't happen. We want to draw like lifesteal barrier or rally or radiant guardian. Not bad. How do I enable radiant guardian? Oh, if we can. Unfortunately, none of these cards, protege. Protector, Radiant Guardian, none of these are elites. I ran as fast as I could. Attacking.
Well, I'm very glad they're using a Mystic Shot on Pompey and not Mystic Shot on me. Very glad about that. So I want to play Radiant Guardian, right? I'm going to let this die so I can play Radiant Guardian. Considering Sharp Sight Block just saves one life. But five, you know, five is just one get excited, one mystic shot. At least six is like two get excited. All right, chat's just saying just Radiant. Down to five we go. Rally? Yes, rally. Banish the unworthy. Let's see. Okay, so I, I have the exact mana for for this plus this. I don't know, I guess we'll just go with this. Cause I can go like Bright Seal Protector first. But then they get to do, but then, you know, like, if they have, like, these some treasure type cards, they get to do those and look for burn spells. They may be shooting their own Daring Poor Ode, so I don't heal five, but I'd be very happy with that. Alright, we get to heal five. Poppy's alive for now. All right, this looks great. Ooh, they got rid of a Get Excited. Wow. Why didn't they just get excited and kill my Poppy? I've got your back. Why didn't they just kill the Poppy? I wanted to do that for, you know, get this thing in play. Get that barrier on first so they don't respond with the barrier. Because now we level up Poppy, and now they, they did. Jeez. All right, so that's our first. Uh, that's part one for Garen Poppy. We're going to be doing four of these. We're going to be playing 20 games with the deck, really getting into it. Um, definitely a good showing. You know, like we, we did lose to the Thralls deck where we didn't have either champion. That can be a tough matchup for us. But, you know, we didn't have either champion and, uh, you know, our, our things were too small and we, you know, didn't put a good enough clock on them. Um, so that, that makes sense, you know, so that t tough matchup there. And then we the only other loss was whenever... Um, I had my two Radiant Guardians in play, should have opened attacked. We got punished for that with a, you know, double Pokey Stick lesson learned there. So, you know, definitely could have been four and one if I would have just opened attacked. We're four and one. Um, so, you know, definitely good showing. Let's keep on trying it out. Let's, let's keep on playing and keep on learning. Cause you know, like that's, that's something like that mistake, that game, that's something that that's why we practice games, right? Cause you, you make mistakes and that's okay. Everybody make mistakes. Uh, you know, don't, you know, don't get upset at yourself learn from it and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna learn from that of realize okay pokey stick into pokey stick that's a line for my opponent to deal two damage so i tried to you know play like poppy first to, to buff up my rating guardian so i was healing 10 instead of healing eight and you know things like that and i should not have all right so a uh, good lesson there let's go ahead and get to part two so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this uh format of taking one deck and playing it throughout the day and really learning the deck um, and things like that and focusing a little bit more on rank. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. But that's going to be it for part one for Garen Poppy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.